Well, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we're going to get right to what we had to stop in the middle of because of time constraints on our most recent program, as you know. I have, I guess, a running feud with retiring Colorado congressperson Patsy Schroeder. Now, Patsy Schroeder went to the floor of the House of Representatives not long ago to start celebrating the fact that it's Women's Herstory Month, and she divulged some facts which we played on this program, some, some, made some remarks which we played, which contained errors. These were not actually facts, and so I corrected her. Uh, it's a public service. You don't want retiring members of Congress looking like fools all the time, so I did what I could to correct her. <laughs> she thinks still that she's right and that I'm wrong, and she went to, back to the Florida House last Thursday to respond to the specifics of uh, my complaints about her remarks uh, on another House speech. So we want to show you another segment from the first show where she says something about this. In this case, it's Martha Washington and what she did during the Revolutionary War, and my response to it, and then Patsy's response to my response. So we're going to refute the refutation of the refuter, is what this is. Here we go. Martha Washington picked up everything she had and moved to winter camp. So she was there in Valley Forge, she was in New Jersey, and she was in New York, where the military was encamped those three terrible winters. And the reason we know that is after the war was won and this great republic began to come together, George Washington insisted that the Congress pay her for having been there and held the morale and the troops together winter after winter. No, no, she went there to keep George Washington's morale together, but not the troops. <laughs> but more, folks, wait, 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 we don't have much time here. Wait, the facts. She's wrong about it. What happened was she came to visit him during the winter, and since he didn't get any leave, he stayed there. Since she came, he didn't get to go back to Mount Vernon. He submitted the expenses that she spent to get there so he could be reimbursed. She did not get paid for anything. He wanted an expense voucher. He's just trying to get a little bit under the table here for getting her to have visit him during the winter. I was talking about expenses under the table, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Some of our mail inferred what I said. That I was talking about something else under the table, and I only meant expenses. So <laughs> that, that aired on our television show last week. Ms. Schroeder saw it and responded to it a couple days later this way. The next item that he took me to task for was the issue about Martha Washington and the fact that George Washington had asked to have her expenses reimbursed while uh, she had spent all three winters with the Revolutionary Army in winter camp. You see, at that time, as Commander-in-Chief, he had no money, no uniforms. Things were very, very tough. No one knew if they were going to win or not. And Martha Washington came in holding the troops together. He felt that that was worth repayment and submitted this following bill. I have a copy of the bill that George Washington submitted to have Martha Washington reimbursed. It is for her expenses from, 19, or from 1775 through 1782. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to also put this in the record. Well, there you have it, folks. She has the bill. Do you note that she didn't dispute a thing that I said? And I want to quote from the history book that we got all of our information from, just so you'll know. I now use the words of the history book. The book is The American Revolution from 19, or 1775 to 1783, written by Blanco. And this is what it says. The general submitted Martha Washington's travel expenses of 1,064 pounds to Congress for reimbursement because he said that her visits to him took the place of the time he should have been allotted each year at Mount Vernon. The bottom line is she, was, she did submit expenses, travel expenses, that he thought were due him because he didn't take any leave. She was not compensated for the morale building that she engaged in with the troops. It, it, now, why this is not a big deal. I'm not putting Martha Washington down. This is the extent to which the feminists go to try to make something of their heroine sisters of the past. But nobody has ever... This, uh, no, nobody has ever held it against women that they didn't participate in the Revolutionary War in a, in, a, in a direct soldier way like the men did. It's only important to people like Pat Schroeder who have to go back and rewrite history in order to make themselves feel worthwhile. 
Nobody's made an issue out of this but her. And this is how bogus and how ancillary all of this Women's History Month stuff is. They have to go back and, and find little isolated things, make big deals out of them. Uh, and all we're doing is pointing out that she's wrong.